All right, guys, we are here. This is day, oh, I'm losing track, day four of the Hershey <laughs> RV show for us. This will be coming out Sunday morning. Um, today is a crazy day, but we're still working to get a video out for you guys today. Um, today, what we're doing is, if you've seen, we've been reviewing our, like, the coolest motorhomes and fifth wheels at the right. show. Um, today, we're going to be taking a look at travel trailers. Now, there are a ton of travel trailer brands at the Hershey show, so it was hard to kind of, like, narrow down which ones we want to show to you guys. Um, so this is definitely not a reflection of all the brands that are here, um, right. even all the manufacturers, uh, but we did our best to kind of keep, you know, keep a variety for you yeah. guys. Yeah. Yeah. We're super excited to share our list with you guys. Like Jen said, you know, we try to hit as much of the good stuff that we thought you guys would like as possible and while well, keeping it diverse and trying to hit different price points and different tiers and everything. So we hope you guys enjoy the video. Yeah, and if you, you know, we're excited to meet you guys again if you're coming to the Hershey RV show. Yeah. Um, I know this is kind of coming out on the last day, so if you are coming to the Hershey RV show, hopefully this gives you kind of a peek into, you know, what are the, what's the newer travel trailer stuff? Um, what is, you know, kind of gives you a way of like being at the show and seeing the stuff without exactly. actually being here. So cool. um, we hope you guys enjoy the video. We're gonna hop right in. I know a lot of people were asking for some destination park model type trailers and there's not a lot here at the show, but we're gonna take a look at this Catalina uh, because it's one of the uh, coolest that I saw here at the show. So as you can see, you know, park model is much bigger. It's very, very heavy. You know, this is designed to be towed there, maybe delivered uh, with a big, big truck, like a dually most yeah. likely, you know, 350, 450 type truck. Um, and then just pretty much staying permanent. This isn't something you're taking on weekend trips and all that. Yeah, it's not. And it's also, as you can kind of see by the shape, it's not designed to be aerodynamic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So let's come on down here. All right. One cool thing with park models, a lot of times they have sliding glass doors, which is cool. I yes. So there are two doors. I'm going to go in this one first. So this is a front kitchen layout. Very um, nice. So you got a nice kitchen up here. Awesome. Dinette and living space. It's kind of all in one. I really like this kind of like little bar area right yeah, here. Yeah, you could get some bar stools here. Yeah. So yeah, that. so I really, you know, that's one of the things I really like about this one. This could also be like, I mean, you already have your dinette, but like this could be like a working space. Right, you know? some prep space. So that is the only thing with his kitchen. Like if you take this out of it, the counter space isn't that great to yeah. be honest. You know, this isn't maybe for your chef though. You right, know. but if you got maybe something cooking on the crock pot and you're working on something else here, we've got crock pot here, the Instant Pot. <laughs> yep. And uh, you know you can keep working yeah. over there. So I know Instant Pot is very popular with RV. It is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's got a nice fireplace, TV, and coming down, you got the mid bunk oh, wow. right this here. Is a it's very a nice big, big bunk mid bunk. Room. Yeah. So that's so. one of the advantages. Again, this is going to be really big, really heavy going down the road. You're gonna get more space as well. Yeah. So looks like it's prepped for a TV here. Yeah. So. All right, and we, you know, like Will said, you do have a sliding glass door here, which is really nice. Something you would never get help. in yeah. a normal RV. Yeah. Um, pretty good size. Pretty much just a standard RV yeah, shower, but it's a nice like size. A, yeah, it's a big shower. It actually. is. Yeah. We got some storage there, and I love, you know, they're keeping things nice and light, which I love. Yeah, and then a good sized bedroom back here as well. So it looks like this is a queen bed, but it looks like there's room yeah, to make it a king. Um, you know, you got some good wardrobe space, prep for a TV. Yeah. That's about it. Yeah, I do wish Sorry, you had more guys. of a closet. With, I, I agree you know? with this one, yeah. So, um, but yeah, Considering overall, it's kind of designed where you could almost live in it, you Yeah, know? yeah, so you're definitely getting, and this, you know, there's, there's a, um, you know, there's a variety of destination trailers. You can get ones bigger than this that are gonna feel much more like you know, an actual like apartment or something. Yeah, check out the reviews that we've done as well because um, Matt and I have done a lot of great destination trailers yes. with different floor plans and everything. Yes. All right, guys, this one's gonna be a little quick. We just wanted to pop in sh over and show you guys kind of a, a cool, like unique travel trailer. Some of you guys have been asking to see A-liners. So we're over here at the uh, Beckley's RV display and we're gonna check out this A-liner Ranger 12. Um, so it'll be super super quick because it is a very small unit, but I've never actually been in one So I'm really excited to see what it looks like. Yeah, and all, on the outside they do use Asdale composite siding, which is awesome oh, That's awesome. As yeah. you guys know, you probably know by now we love Asdale um, Let's see it, if I can it <laughs> has never had a case of delamination, so it's much better than the Luan um, So over here we have like a little dinette area So I feel like that's something... probably gonna transfer into the main bed I would assume yeah, I would guess so. Because this, I think this table will sit down in these ledges yep. and then 
the cush the, these back cushions will come over and then you'll have a bed. Right. So that's cool. This is definitely going to be for a shorter person. I think Will would struggle sitting here because you're kind of like, so. you know, and the tallest part of it is not bad, but here right. it's like you're kind of on an angle. But still right. nice. And um, like a regular pop-up is, is flat or like the same height all the way across. So I think that would probably be better yeah. for a taller people. These, like, I, I but have they're to, cool. I have to admit, <laughs> I don't really... I don't get the concept of why, like, why it points in the middle, like a. Well, roof. because it's all hard. Everything's hard. Okay. Um, but then it's you're still getting that lightweight, you know. Is, I guess it sort of just saves from like type. the the roof like going kind of like more rectangular right, shape, I right. guess. Right. Um, but anyways, I mean, they at least look really cool going down the road. They do, I'll yeah. That. So we've got a nice two uh, two burner suburban cooktop here. It runs off of propane. Um, a little mini fridge down here, Dometic. And then a um, little sink. And then you got kind of got your couch set up over here. And I can't quite tell if this goes out or I anything. I think it does. Uh, it's got to yeah. go out. Or at least, um, I imagine this cushion goes into the Maybe that's spot. what it does. So actually, you could probably get like two sleeping areas. Yeah, for this, and they're pretty is, good size which sleeping is really, areas. Yeah, which is really nice. So, for like how a, small it is. Yeah, if you're like a small family and you want to go out and like do true camping, yeah. but have something a little bit nicer than a tent. And maybe that's why also it's like it's the almost like a tent. Oh, what's going on? Good morning, everybody. Okay. Oh. Um, and then also, I just want to show we've got a little bit of storage down here. Oh. I like that they added this. Um, you, oh, that's, that's nice. You got these like bins that so that things don't kind of like yeah. run around. I yeah, like this that is you have the a smallest nice, like, countertop space. So. Yeah. This is, I think, one of the smaller floor planes as well. Okay. We we're trying to just kind of be respectful because the show did just start. Yeah, and, and this is here. like when we're recording today, guys. This is Saturday of the Hershey Review Show. There's going to be record turnout. Yeah, uh, it's as be of crazy. yesterday, 35,000 people had bought tickets online. So we're trying to be respectful of the dealerships and not, and not you know, kind of get in their way. Yeah. But yeah, this is really cool. I'm glad I got to see it. it. Oh, and you got, I do like how you have this like A shaped yeah. like, window going on. <laughs> so we are going to go and check out the next travel trailer now. Cool. Up next is the East to West Alta. I really, really like the East to West product. Today, we are taking a look at the 3150 KB. And what I really like about East to West, number one, they're using all Asdale siding. Again, you know that we love that. Um, King size beds are standard, and they're using a bigger AC unit. And I believe this one has two AC units, but we'll double check. Awesome, and they have a nice big awning out here. It is a huge yeah. awning. Yeah, they give you like a huge, it, I've seen that I think on the fifth wheel as well. It's like you yes. get a huge camping space that's covered. This is their higher and smooth sided uh, travel trailer. They also have the Delaterra, which is more of an entry level stick and tent travel trailer. I love the outside kitchen on this one. Let's yes, look at this. Very nice. Nice big uh, uh, fridge, plumb through sink, and a nice grill right awesome. here. Awesome. Where do you get a TV? I love a that. TV, that's right. Cool. You want to jump yes, inside? let's go see what it looks like. You got another door here also. Yes. Solid steps. Which I like. So yeah, coming inside again, you get that king bed. You walk pretty much right up next to the bedroom. Huge king bed with still plenty of storage all the way around. Nice. Um, oh, this does lift. I forgot too. Oh, okay. I guess there's storage sure. underneath there. Yeah, they got a good storage oh, system wow. here. I like that. And you get some drawers exactly. over there. Exactly. More useful than when it's just all empty I agree. Space. Yeah, I really like this design. And it looks like, so the entry is like these two like kind of barn doors. Yeah. Um, which I I was on a Tobel video with Matt and he didn't like the barn doors. Okay. Uh, I actually am a fan of the two barn doors. Yeah, I like how nice. it gives like a nice like open like door into this room. It just right. kind of opens up the trailer a little bit right. more. Right. If you look behind you, I think you have a good sized pantry in there. Ooh, Ooh that yeah. is a huge pantry, guys. You can and make that into a closet. Yes, as well. they give you the curtain rod, so it's kind of uh, transitional space, I guess. I like the furniture look and yeah. everything in here. I think it looks really good. Good size dinette. It looks like they went down to Haverty's. <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, it just exactly. like looks residential. <laughs> it does. They are using the compressor fridge, which I absolutely love because it cools off so much quicker and it is a little bit bigger. Yeah, a little bit more space. Um, nice kitchen and everything. Again, that AC is running right now. They are using a bigger AC unit and uh, pretty much all these the West products. I love this back backsplash that they're doing too. 
And um, that is like a nice thick piece. I saw that yes. in the fifth wheel too, I believe. Yeah. Um, that just gives it like that a really nice. high end look. It kind of and blends love, in with the countertops. Right, yeah. and I love how it goes all the way from the bottom yep. to the top and everything. Yes, so. very nice. And you get the nice window there. Yep, and then here's that bathroom. And again, you do have a door going directly into the bathroom. I love that because if kids or you are outside, everybody's hanging out, you got some mud, dirt on your shoes, you're not tracking it all the way from there yes. through the living room and the kitchen into the bathroom right. and then back. I know it's families. It's just right into the bathroom and back. <laughs> yeah, families with little kids probably really appreciate that. Exactly. And speaking of families with little kids, this is a great, great hey, bunk room. Very this nice. bed flips up. Got a nice couch that will also turn into a bed. You got a nice big teddy bunk up here. Uh, and a nice teddy bunk up here, TV, and some good storage for you. Yeah, I love this. This is a really nice bunk room. Yeah, it sure is. All right, that wraps up our tour of the Alta. If you are looking for a travel trailer with a bunkhouse in it, I think this is a really fantastic option at a good price point. Um, east to west is in the Forest River section. So if you are coming to the show, just make sure you're kind of looking in the Forest River yeah. area. Um, we're gonna go check out the next trailer now. Cool. All right, we are over at New Camp, which is a brand of travel trailer that does a lot of teardrops. And we're checking out their new product today called the Barefoot. It's a small, it looks like a molded fiberglass um, unit, but I, we don't know a ton about it. But we just kind of want to show you guys, it's very cool looking. It has this nice kind of like light sea foam green kind of color. Um, it's actually too small for Will to even go in, so I'm gonna take you guys in there and check it out. And I believe it's a brand that, that they kind of like acquired from Europe or something like that, right? Yeah, they had it in Europe, and now they're just uh, kind of trans transforming it a little bit to meet US specs and- Yeah, and, uh, testing start, it in the US market exactly. probably. So this is a prototype that we're looking at now. Um, so I don't, I guess it's not something that you can totally buy yet. Not yet, they said it'll be about a year. Okay. And of course there will, I'm sure, be some changes. Some changes, so yeah. So we're gonna see what it looks like now. I'm pretty excited. Um, so yeah, it's got this like nice, almost like futuristic space like airplane looking- airplane type door. Airplane type door, yes. And then you come in here, um, such a cute design in here guys i love the, the we got like a nice like big u-shaped dinette it's carrying over that kind of it's like almost a combination of like futuristic and vintage you know right. what i mean it's almost got it's that so, it's cute it's got that upscale kind of 70s fun vibe yeah. um so i yeah i love what they got going on gives me kind of like a airstream feel as well with some of their cabinets um and so it's kind of like open it looks like open cabinetry and then over here Let's see what this is. You got a little door. You can, you know, put some smaller stuff. Little countertop. And yeah, look at how look at how these so uh, cabinet doors are. So you push in, you pull. You got some cabinetry space down there. And then when you close it, you pull push in, and it locks it. Over here we have a Dometic two burner cooktop. Some more. Oh, that that one might have might have got jammed. Jammed or something. Yeah. Um, and Check then what's here? Oh, a nice little see. sink with the cover. I love that. Check out that little fridge too. Oh, that is so cool. Isn't it? Like a nice little mini fridge, but right. it really blends in with the space. And look at this wet bath, guys. Right. Now they're very it's nice. I mean, it is still- it's, this For is, me it is, yeah, but. <laughs> I don't think Will, I think Will would be crouching if he was in there. Yeah. Um, I think I would even struggle. This is definitely more geared towards your smaller person. Um, Cause even I'm kind of crouching in it. But, and then look how they incorporated this cabinetry into the, the shape with the, the front. That's very cool. So, they got your toilet here, your sink, and then another little, like, oh, here's some, like, kind of um, closet, pantry space, maybe. Yeah. So, this is very cool. Um, again, this is a prototype. Um, so, if you guys are interested in this, you're probably going to be waiting a little bit. Um, but, you know, at least we can get some eyes on it. Um, now, if you are coming to the Hershey Show, um, New Camp's a little hard to find. They're going to be way in the back behind um, a lot of, like, where Lance is um, and a lot of the Super Seas. So, just make sure you look on the map and, and find them first. Yeah, the best way to find it is to go in between Jayco and Integra. Then go okay. straight down. You'll see Nexus on the right. Turn right there, and that's pretty much at the entry exit gate, and then just go straight down that aisle. Yep. So there we it's go. a little difficult to find, but yeah. All right, we're gonna go see what else we got here. Oh. 
All right, up next, we're taking a look at the Lance model 1995, which happens to be Jen's birth year. <laughs> um, you guys know Lance built a great, great product and um, everything about them, it's just a very, you know, attention to detail oriented and everything. One thing that I noticed right off is this nice storage bay. Oh, that is so cool. With this bay. You I guys, that. anybody who has a travel trailer knows that, you know, the first two feet are okay after that, it's pretty rough. Yeah, so you <laughs> it's, have it's all that storage pit. space, but it's like not very accessible. Exactly. So that makes it a lot easier. I think that was so smart. So coming down the side. Wait, wait, don't forget the table. Oh, oh well, thank you, sir. Nice, thank We've got you. a nice table here too. Yeah. What is it completely pull out? So it's yeah. just oh okay, awesome. Yeah, just, uh, so you got you always have a picnic table with you even if you can use doesn't it have or one. you can use it as a shelf. So as you pull this out, right? So you pull right. out the tray. You can put stuff up top so it doesn't go in the dirt. Very right. nice. Very nice. Love that. Nice. Thanks for showing cool. us that. Thank you. Welcome. Would have missed it. So yeah, coming down the side, you do have a good, uh, nice big awning. What I love about it is it's an armless awning, meaning you're not gonna hit your head on the rails that come down yes, the side. Yes, I love that. Which I have done before. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> um, coming on the inside, I want to say they use Asdale, but I don't know that for sure. And I was uh, looking for the sticker and I don't see it. Yeah. So um, definitely double check that if you're really interested. Right. You wanna go inside? Yeah. Oh, sorry, these solid steps are so cool, I think. Because they're they're the more compact, you're not gonna have to put them up. Okay. Which does create, you know, the, the other solid steps do create some dents here. Yes. Not a big deal, but also you flip all that dirt in and everything. This Those is more actually like kind of fold up on the outside, right? Exactly. These are more like your traditional uh, flip up steps, but then they're very solid with those feet. Right, so you have those supports there. Yes. Um, so it's still gonna be in much nicer, you know, exactly. it's not gonna like be pulling the travel trailer when you're trying to exactly. step up in there. Sorry, go ahead. So, all right, let's take a look in here. So also guys, we are trying to show you kind of a variety of travel trailer lengths. There are tons of travel trailers here at the show. So we can't even like really touch, you know, all the brands that are here. Right. Um, but hopefully this gives you guys a look into like some different um, lengths. The Lance is more, I would say like, you know, more of a mid-size, you know, we're not this looking. This one is, yeah, they yeah. do multiple sizes. Yes, they this one we're looking ones. at is. So yeah, Lance is a good area to come if you're trying to get it, you know, see different uh, sizes. And they have a good display here all in one. Yeah. Up front, you got a nice queen bed. Some pretty good wardrobe space. Space Again, this is a smaller floor plan, so it's all kind of open. But you do have this curtain to wrap nice. around, give you a little bit of privacy. Uh, TV, TV right there. there. And then coming down here into the kitchen, you do have uh, your refrigerator right here. Very nice. Yeah. This one's like a little bit different, so they must use some different products or at least order it that way so it's funny i'm i'm noticing because i've been in or I've, I've been in or i've seen a lance truck camper right. before and this has a very similar feeling to it me. does yeah um nice microwave and kitchen and everything again smaller floor plan but you still get a little bit of good counter space yes i love 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 this u-shaped yes. dinette we're big fans of the u-shaped yeah. dinette they're just so comfortable so nice it kind of gives you a couch and a dining area and a workspace in one. Exactly. Of course, the bathroom, it's going to be tight, um, but it's definitely manageable do and doable. Very nice. Now we, we got, got some, some storage. More closet space and more closet space there. Yeah. And again, this is going to kind of be what I call multi-purpose space. Yeah. You might have to put some pots and pans in here. You might have to put some clothes in here. You might have to use it as your pantry. It, it, it's just, you know, whatever works, you, you, you make it work on yeah. a smaller floor plan. And this so. particular, like, size, too, I would say, is great for those people that, that want a, a smaller travel trailer, don't need want to have a huge right. truck to pull it, but they also don't want, like, a teardrop. It's exactly. kind of a nice in-between. Right, and it, it's not terribly small, yeah. but it's not, like, like it's you said, it's huge. not a monster yep. either. Yep. So cool, you which I've take... actually had, which I, I do think there's a big market for that. I, just yes. being at the show, I've had so many people come up and ask me for travel trailers in this kind of size right. range. So. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Cool, you want to go take a look yeah, at the next so one? Yeah, let's go. Okay guys, if you didn't see our fifth wheel video from yesterday, definitely go check it out. I'll have a link down in the description. Um, but in that video, we were showing you, you know, all the kind of new cool fifth wheels at the Hershey RV show. And we went and checked out a Keystone Arcadia, which is a brand new kind of fifth wheel 
line up for Keystone, but they also have travel trailers. So in this video, we're gonna show you the travel trailer they have. This is the 370 RL, and we're gonna go and take a look. We love the interior of the fifth wheel Arcadia that we looked at, so we're excited to see what the travel trailer looks like inside. All right, and already I can see that that beautiful interior design is carried through. We've got a huge bedroom back here, Will. Yeah. Huge, I don't know why, like king I know this is a king size bed, but it looks like extra big. <laughs> um, and then we got a nice size closet back here. Is it washer dryer prep back there? I can't remember. It is not, I believe. Okay. Yeah, I don't see any hookups, so. Um, but you got nice barn doors here for the closet. More storage over there. And then even more right here. They give you a little bench there, which I love. So you can kind of sit down, put your shoes on. And then let's take a look at this bathroom. You want to get in that shower wall? Sure. Let's see if they did it. Oh, they sure did. Look at how high these ceilings are. Yeah, this is great that's for great. travel trailer. That is great because it's already like raised up. So that's nice it that is. you got those yeah. tall ceilings. And also like, look at these <clears throat> cabinets, guys. I'm starting to see this more and more. And like these, these nice like shaker style, like residential cabinets. I love right. that. They're doing like a cool kind of like mosaic like backsplash. Um, backsplash. Yeah, you got a really nice van in here. A lot of countertop space. Right. And then over here, um, we have a nice table and chairs. Keystone is really doing good with their interiors, guys. I'm really impressed. Um, in the kitchen, nice big cabinet up there. Little like kind of coffee taco bar. Um, very actually similar like layout to what we have in our Kugel, Cougar. Sorry. Um, but that rear living kind of set up. I love this flip up thing. Yes, look at that, it's so cool. And I love that how, the, now does this, oh, this, it yeah. It does drop down, okay. yeah. Drops down so you can put the slide in. Just like in the Arcadia fifth wheel yesterday, they have this really, right. really nice big um, butcher block like sink drop in, which I love. So it gives you this nice big cutting board. And then the couches are very, so they in the fifth wheel smart. yesterday, it was like a nice big, actually like sectional in there. So they do the two separate sofas, but they just have such a nice high end, they like do, residential yeah. look right across from the TV. And then you still get that chalkboard um, paint on your door, which is cool. Right. Definitely. So, oh, you got wireless charging. It didn't charging. work for mine because I got a pop socket, but yes. Yeah, wireless have... charging. That's yeah, so cool. It is. Well, this is beautiful inside. <laughs> I love the interiors. Keystone's really stepping it up. They are. Um, so yeah, definitely check out the Arcadia if you're looking for kind of like what, do you, what would you say? It's, a, it's like, a bigger profile. You know, you're gonna need probably need a three quarter ton truck. Yeah. I didn't check the weight, but that would be my guess. Yeah. Um, and this is brand new for Keystone yeah, as well. They just uh, launched this probably a couple months ago. So yeah. It's super exciting. And this is they only have war, one floor plan yeah, of the right. Arcadia um, yeah. at the Hershey Show, but I'm sure they have a couple other floor plans out of there. They imagine. might only be doing the one right now. Let's okay. Let's take a quick look. Look at the pamphlet. See, uh, travel trailer. So they, it looks like they're gonna have two. Okay, so we're in the 370 RL, yep. and they'll also have a bigger one, a 377 RL, which looks like it's pretty much the same layout, but just a little bit longer, a little bit more spacious. Yep. So cool. awesome. Well, we're gonna go hit the next one now, guys. Yeah, let's go. All right, we are over at the Intech display, which is another brand making more of that smaller, high quality teardrops and you know, and other smaller travel trailers. So it's very close to the Winnebago display if you're trying to look at it when you come to the show. But we're checking out one of their new products, which is the Terra Oasis. We did get eyes on this uh, when we were back at Leo's Vacation Center. A customer was picking one up. We saw it for the first time. It's beautiful inside. Um, I love that you're getting, you know, you're getting with these Intech products like that higher quality. If you're looking for small, but still quality. Um, this is kind of what they're making. So this is more of their bigger model that they're offering now, a little bit larger inside. And so I'm excited to check it out. Now I did want to mention the the construction is with aluminum framing, not wood. And so, and then in general, they're using a much higher quality product. So it's designed to last for a while. All right, before we go inside, I did want to show you what they give you on the outside of this tarot aid. So, so you get this nice table here um, for kind of prepping if you want to cook outside, because over here you have a nice um, flat top for cooking and then a nice nor cold cooler that's, that's cool. awesome that you get that that is um and then this is all on a slide out tray so when you're done with it you can put it away and you know put this table down and you're good to go so cool. and i don't think we mentioned that this also has that awning with the what it was it called uh -huh. armless, armless awning, awning. Yeah. So you're not going to hit your head Which on I it i love that yes. i really do all right coming in here I'm wowed just as much as when we first saw one at Leo's because 
I always just, I just love, we used to sell in tech when we were at Leah's Vacation Center, so I'm familiar with their soul, and it's kind of that same look, and I've always loved it, like, if you like that, like, nice, clean, modern, futuristic kind of look, um, that's definitely what you're getting with the in -techs. And so, up front, you've got a nice U-shaped dinette, so a lot of people can sit here, and um, this, I do believe this becomes a bed. So it you, does, You can yes. put the table down into the supports, put these cushions down. So you do have a bed in the back, we'll show you that, but then you have even more sleeping space up here if you're coming with a group. Um, and this table is nice because you can kind of like, rot you know, when you're getting in, you can kind of rotate it. If you're maybe a little bigger or something, it's hard to get in. Um, and it's just kind of flexible space. So I love that and, and how they thought to um, curve the corners too, just to make it easier to get in. You're missing the big window though. Oh, I'm sorry guys, <laughs> I'm thinking. So yeah. Isn't that so This cool. is something you get with a lot of the Intech products. You have to get this huge front windshield, um, which is so nice. So this is, you know, if you've seen on Instagram when people like park their RV yes. with their windows, this is where, this is the window you face the, the ocean. Is, yes. <laughs> you, know, you face the view here and you wake up in the morning back there and then you get to, to right. look out at your view. So yes, thanks for reminding me well. And, <laughs> you know, there are some like, you get like European yeah, style cabinetry yeah, up here, so. Cool. Awesome, let me move over to the kitchen. Um, so for the size of this travel trailer, I love how big of a sink they gave you. Um, it's a nice like kind of stainless steel sink. Like a farmhouse style, right? Yeah, I love farmhouse? Yes, that is, so you, okay. yeah, farmhouse is when it kind of comes out. So yeah, okay, thanks for pointing that out. Got some storage down there. Uh, again, like kind of that, that futuristic, nice clean, like metal looking backsplash. Right. Um, more cabinets up here um and they, i like it looks like oh yeah there's a magnet so oh, cool you do have to pull a little bit harder but you can tell that these are solid they're not coming open when you go down the road um the range here and then <laughs> we have a nice uh two burner dometic cooktop that looks like a and nice then, oven yeah this is like a convection is this, it is I so think. this is I think, oh that's cool i think this is a convection microwave but they kind of built it, uh, this is High Point brand. They kind of built it to feel like an oven, so the door is going to go so down. That's cool, I And think. I mean, look at, this is like a pizza almost <laughs> pan inside, so you can cook a lot of stuff in there. I love that you get that, because typically you wouldn't get a really good like cooking set up right, in a trailer this right. size. Um, over here we have some more countertop space, more storage, and you get your TV here. Um, nice size refrigerator. Is this a compressor fridge wall? Uh, let's see. No, it's it is. I'm okay. sorry. This is the one that always confuses me. The Norcold, yeah. Yeah. So you get a nice is, compressor, compressor fridge. fridge with a freezer, and then um, you do have AC. So and then it looks like you have your main AC, and then you have two fans, the one in right. the front, one back. Right. Um, over here is the bathroom. Oh, so what it is is a separate shower and bathroom. Right. Which I'm actually a big fan of that in a smaller unit. I think it's nice that like someone can use the bathroom while someone's showering. Right. Um, so you have like your toilet and sink in here with some storage. Um, and uh, you know, they did a good job for how small this bathroom is of giving yeah, they it did. You know, some good space to sit down on the toilet. And then yeah. the other side's that shower, yeah, right? Yes, so this is your shower. So it kind of has that wet bath feel. Um, but you know, this is just a shower, and they even gave you a bench, which is really nice. It is. I don't. Can you, do you want to try to get in there? Yeah. I'm just curious for the taller guys what it's going to be like. It's not great, but it's not terrible. It's not, you got, yeah. You know, here it's hard, yeah. but I'm honestly even surprised you like fit in there. I know. So, yeah. You know, if you're a little shorter than you know, for for your guys that are maybe like not quite six three, but but on the taller side, you can still make this yeah, work. Yeah, for sure. And then coming in here, we have a barn door. That yeah, that barn door is nice. And look how nice and big this bedroom feels. So it looks like you have a queen size bed. Um, I don't. I think that's all you could do. You couldn't fit a king size. No. Um, and then lots of storage space in here. Little side cabinets. You get your vanity on each side. Nice window over here. And then I guess this is kind of like your closet space. Right. Very nice. Um, and then also you get a TV over there. Cool. So. Is that it? Yeah, so yeah, if you guys, uh, I've, I've always loved the Intech products. That I will say they are pricey. Um, they're, you're, you know, a lot of people are like, why is it so expensive, it's so small. You're paying for that quality, you're paying for the aluminum um, framing, you know, you're paying for something, some, some, something small that's gonna last a long time. It's the same reason why Class Bs are, t tend to be more expensive than bigger motorhomes. You're paying for that quality and for them being able to compact all of the stuff into a small space. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for 
you know, tier, they have other smaller teardrops too, but maybe if you're looking for like a midsize, kind of on the smaller side travel, yeah. travel trailer, um, this is a nice option. All right, we hope you guys enjoyed that video and saw some interesting travel trailers, maybe some stuff that you've been wanting to get eyes on. Um, we hit a variety of stuff, you know, like I said earlier, there's so many travel trailer brands yeah. here. We, we really, it was tough making this list. It was. Yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button and um, subscribe to see more videos. Typically, we're doing travel vlogging. Yes. Um, this show is a little bit different. Most shows will probably be similar to this. Um, but if you want to see our journey, definitely subscribe. Yeah, and also I just wanted to say um, thank you so much to everyone who's been at the show Absolutely. and come up and said hi to us. Yeah, we've met so much. Yes, we've met so many amazing people here, and it is it's so special to us to hear about how you know the videos on our vlog and on Matt's review reviews like just like make a difference in your life. You know, yeah. we're just out here making videos, but we're glad that it can you know bring some happiness or entertainment yes. or whatever that is. Hopefully, educational you know <laughs> from these videos at the show. Um, tomorrow we will be having a video out on all of the coolest RV gadgets. So we're going to be walking around to some of these vendors, seeing what's new, walking in the Giant Center. That's where most of the vendors are, which I haven't even, even gotten a chance to walk through that yet. So it'll be new for me, but I've already <laughs> kind of, I peeked at a couple really cool things that are here. So I'm excited for you guys to see that. I know a couple people have been asking to see some of the RV parts and accessories yes. and stuff and we're gadgets. Yeah, so that'll be coming out tomorrow morning. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. See ya. Bye.